So I wanted to make a video of some of the games you can play at home. <laughs> Most of these come from Susan Garrett, some of them come from Sylvia Turkman or from Jess Martin. They're just easy foundation games to help either keep your dog's concentration on you, which is very tough in class, not quite as bad at home, but also just to help them understand, good boy, how to do agility handling. This is Quiz, he's my seven month old Cooley, and I think you can probably tell he's done a lot of shaping because he keeps offering behaviors because he can also have a handful of cookies. So what I want to start off with with him is some of the behaviors that are involved in a lot of self-control, which is a big issue I have with this dog because he does want to work constantly. So It's Your Choice is fantastic for self-control. It's fantastic for all of those kind of behaviors where you don't want your dog sniffing around the ground, you don't want them visiting something else, they want value to be with you. So it starts off with a hand filled with treats and I am putting it at his head level. If he goes in for those treats, I'm just closing the hand, he's offering me some calm behaviors so he gets his kibbles. He's played this game a lot, so he don't progress much faster than you'll probably be able to progress with this game if you haven't done it. So I can go right up to standings. I know he's just gonna leave that alone. Good boy. Giving me some nice visual contact. Kind of after this level, we can start adding a little motion into those treats. For him as a coolie, they're bred to do a lot of herding, and he has a very, very, very high prey drive when it comes to motion. So he has a very hard time on walks this fall. With all those leaves blowing, he just wants to chase. Squirrels make him scream. Other dogs running give him a little bit of excitement. Yes, good boy. So that's very, very simple. Easy, easy, easy. It's on the floor. He's learned to ignore it. Adding that next level, we're going into that cookie in the bowl game is what I called it in your sheets. It's exactly the same as it's your choice, but now there's a bowl, which for the dogs might pose more of a problem because the bowl is associated with dinner time. And if they don't have a ritualized way of having the dinner, like you just sit before you take your food or you have a word, then they might just dive into that bowl. So you will have to maybe go back to covering it up. You know, I don't necessarily want to say leave it because I want him to understand that if there's food on the ground, he has to wait for it to be told that he can have it versus me always having to say leave it. Get away. So when it comes to the cookie in a bowl, starting off very, very simple bowl on the floor with cookies and he's just not taking them he's giving me nice nice behavior I'm gonna add on to that with having mr. quiz come sit into heel it's easy now we've done a lot of obedience work as well as a lot of training and rewarding through his, since he was about eight weeks for being in heel or in side position so it's not an uncommon situation for him I don't think I've played this game with him yet so I'm gonna fake him out I'm going to fake dropping my cookie in that bowl just so that he can't fail because I think he would have failed. Whoops. And he went for the dive, but there's no cookie, so no real wrong there. I'm going to add another fake cookie. Uh-oh. Quizzy. Oh, try again, buddy. So he's really struggling just at this level. That's fine. I'll just keep playing it. Yeah, good boy. He didn't go to investigate, so I'm going to give him a little treat with my hand. I'm going to start upping that ante a little bit. Yeah, let's go. Good boy, get it, get it. Yay, cookie to bowl, so much fun. So this is starting off easy by taking a big circle away from that bowl so that he doesn't have the opportunity to dive in and get it. Kind of faking him out. Let's go, yeah, whip, 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 get it. And I'm adding a verbal at this point because he already knows the verbal. He knows that when I say with me, I mean with me coming in tight, either to my left or my right. So I've shortened it, and this is again, I've stolen this from Susan, shortened it to wit wit because it's easier to say on a course. Uh-oh, pups. Puppies, get in. So once I've got kind of a reliable coming around this way, I'm gonna peel him away from the bowl and I'm not taking the cookie this time. It's easy, whoops. My foot's there, luckily. Puppy. Good, ready? Wait, 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 see, 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 yes, get it. Really had to micromanage that, that's okay. Now I know where he's at. Papas, get in. Good boy, 
right. You're going to play this with the bowl on your right as well as on your left. And you can have cookies in your hand. I didn't last time. I will this time because I don't want them to fail. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, get it. Good boy. So what I'm getting out of this is I'm getting a dog that's not sniffing for food, that is staying with me, and that is also warming up by turning his body and following my hand. Okay, thank you, Gwiz.